They have struggled from three-point range much of the night, but a clutch one right there. Still plenty of time remaining, 24.4 left. Each team still with timeouts. Both teams in the penalty. Westbrook kicks it out, Smith. Neto fakes, Neto the floater's up. Shot bounces around, won't go. Rebound tipped and taken at a quick timeout. Ball by Hill with 13.2 remaining. Huge defensive rebound. And now Atlanta will have the ball. They can obviously advance the ball. And the Wizards are clear. They're either going to have to try and seal the inbounds, force a quick turnover, or commit a foul and force the Hawks to hit some free throws. And you see again Atlanta right now tied for fourth with Miami and New York. All with three games to play, including tonight. The Wizards in 10th. Still hoping to get up to that eighth spot, but they need the victory for that here tonight. They can play even in this just a playing tournament. I'm sorry, even in this situation, Nate McMillan is saying to Trey Young, allow me to coach you. He takes them out for defensive purposes. There are superstars that would be upset. But you're not one of my five best defenders, and Hill's inserted into the game. They get a stop. Well, clearly, there was a foul on the rebound. Again, we're not in the arena. It appeared that Hill had got the timeout prior to that, but no, the foul was on Lynn. And Solomon Hill only played nine minutes, knocks down his first free throw. And rattles in the second one, makes it a three-point game. Uh, Trey Young fired up his teammate with two clutch free throws there. And now with 13.2, the Wizards will use their final timeout and have a chance to tie it. Well, the fourth quarter was just the opposite the other night. It was the Wizards who had the big comeback. Washington trailed by 19 on Monday, came back but fell short. Uh, tonight, they were up by 13 in the fourth quarter. And the Atlanta Hawks, who've improved greatly, finishing close games, now with a three-point advantage. Done a very good job down the stretch, getting stops, spreading the floor, taking and making big-time shots, active in the paint area on the boards, and making life for Russell Westbrook where he saw bodies in front of him. All right, so Mark, if you're the Wizards, what's your strategy? Do you look and play for that three-pointer to tie it? Do you score quickly? Even though you have no more timeouts, do you score quickly and then try and hope to, to, to get it back, force a turnover, and have them miss some free throws? For me, I think it's plenty of time, even without a timeout, to get a quick basket. If I get a three, I'm going to take it, but nothing wrong with setting up a quick hitter that you've already worked on prior you know, to this situation, so you're locked and loaded with it in your hip pocket. But if I'm the Atlanta Hawks right now, I'm thinking I'm not allowing this team to get a three. I'm not putting them in position to get an open three. I'm fouling in these situations. So they'll advance the ball. Berton, Smith, Westbrook, Neto, and Alex Len out there. And the Wizards out of timeouts. Westbrook looking. Bertans gets free. Back into the hands of Westbrook. Back to Bertans. Three-pointer. Shot won't go, rebound Collins. Collins, quick outlet to Herter. And a foul with 3.7 remaining. And the Hawks on the verge. They just need a free throw here to make it a four-point game. And the Wizards will have themselves another frustrating close loss. Nate McMillan deciding not to foul. Scott Brooks goes with a little misdirection action and putting Bertans off the pin down. It's a wide open look, just wasn't able to knock it down. That look tells it all for Scotty Brooks. Heard a good free throw shooter, 79%. And that makes it a full point game. Remember Washington out of timeouts, and that should do it. Atlanta Hawks, nine straight points in the last two and a half minutes to overcome a 13 point fourth quarter deficit. Bertans has it, throws it. And that'll do it. Atlanta Hawks clinch the playoff berth. Trey Young 